Facebook. Hi, this is Lisa Schmidt with the Stamper Studio, and I am here with new in the studio, but we're doing chat and connect over cards Monday night tonight. So I have lots of cards to show you from our new January to June celebration catalog, otherwise known as JJ21. Um, it's Monday, which means it's going to be like a little bit of a short week because of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday today. All right, you ready to get started? I am ready to show you some really, really cool things. All right, so I am um, the mini catalog, like I said, known as January to June. And then I'll show you some things in the celebration catalog that you can get for free. You can drop down, hun. All right, so I like to show you the stamp set, but then I also like to show you, uh, obviously, the card. But I like to show you what it's made from. Isn't that so pretty? So this looks like um, Petal Pink and or blushing bride those two are so close it's by carol bumgartner isn't that so pretty i just think it's really pretty we've got that um fine art 3d embossing folder but this piece is just gorgeous out of basic gray and look it's right here in the it's one of the dies so yeah that that's the piece that i'm like wow that is awesome oh and there's a little surprise inside i always like when there's a little but wait inside. So, and then, then with the gems, isn't that pretty? Really, 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 really pretty. <laughs> All right, here's another one that's super pretty. It took me a while to find it and you'll see why in a second. Can I move this up a moment, a little bit? There we go. Um, because I was looking at this stamp set, but look at this card. Isn't that so pretty with that edge of her? Just a little note, doesn't have to be for Valentine's, but- um, Hi Barb, hi Holly. Hi friends. Um, these are the dies that we use and there's that little, that one is this one right here. Isn't that so pretty? And then the designer series paper is the true love designer series paper that's behind this. And I didn't actually, I didn't just notice now it's three rectangles. I was thinking it was a bigger one and then one smaller one, but so pretty with the silver little pearls there. Very nice. I have one more to show you with this many heart dies. Look at this one. This one's by um, Terry Gaines. She always does beautiful, beautiful cards. This is the Old World Paper 3D die here on both spaces. And then um, looks like there's shimmer paint all over it. Barb's getting her set on Friday. Ooh, yay. It's really, this is just, yeah, I'm more enamored with the dies than the stamps This one on this one. So pretty. I'm yeah, not so pretty, isn't it, Diane? I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious, and that sometimes I do that. Oh, that is designer series paper. I was curious if she had painted that, but that is actually some designer series paper. And I like the way she popped up the little note with a little dimensional under there, makes it you know look like it's waving in the wind. And there's our glitter black, black glitter um, ribbon. So pretty with the rhinestone gems. This is just foil paper that she ran through the i wrote it down this time taste nope she ran it through the subtle 3d embossing folder there we go so pretty so pretty all right here is valentine keepsakes and this sweet little stamp set look at that card isn't that cute a little lower sorry um isn't that sweet this is by carol nordquist i just think that's something something sweet for someone sweet that's like all you guys <laughs> but really pretty and i'm guessing what she would do here to get the different colors is you actually color on the stamp and then color those to get two different colors on one stamp but and there's that foil paper which is very very pretty and then this background is actually from um something in the regular catalog that she used to em um, emboss rather than die cut so that's a little trick there. Um, while I'm on this page, let me show you, um, if you haven't signed up for Sweet Little Valentines, that's coming up on February 4th. You need to register by January 23rd. Um, and here are the cards that we're making right out of the kit. You make 10 cards, plus I'm putting in an extra card. So you'll get, the kit comes with everything to make these, and then I'm giving you um, enough to make one more card. Plus, you get a sheet of the resin hearts. So you get half a pack of resin hearts. And it is, they're so cute. 
yeah, and the resin hearts are red and white. It's funny because someone said to me, that's so, I posted it somewhere, that, that's so cute. I'm like, yep, right out of the catalog, right out of the catalog. And that's what I love about it is sometimes you just copy, maybe change a ribbon or do change some small thing, but really I'm just, some of it is just coming right out of there. So there we go. Um, so that is the Sweet Little Valentine. Sign up by January 23rd. All right. Curvy Versus. Quite curvy. Quite curvy is a very pretty stamp set. This is um, a fairly simple card because really you just die cut it one time, stamp it, and one little gem. But it really is um, beautiful, even though it's simple. Uh, even uh, Simple can be beautiful. But even though it doesn't take much to make, it still is a really pretty card. So, and that's using Quite Curvy, which is one of our featured stamp sets in February. And February stamp sets, February um, classes are posted now. So you feel free to take a look at those. All right, here are some, oh, this right here, this Wild Roses, isn't that pretty? So this is, um, I think it's Rococo Rose with Rococo Rose ink on top of it. And the butterfly I'm gonna to get to, it's a stamp set um, further back. This is by Susan Campfield. She always does beautiful things as well. And there's our double oval punch. I love that. I love punches because even though dyes are wonderful, punches are snappy. Make it quick, so wild roses. And then this card is by um, Dina Rikau. She was a friend of ours. She um, sold a million dollars, so she got to make or design a stamp set. So here's a card using that stamp set. Isn't that pretty? Taylor Byrne reminds me of when we were in Hawaii. This stamp set, this card, yeah. Happy birthday. I love the font here. Isn't that fun? That's by Kelly Burkhart. And it's kind of a fun little, fun little fold there. I like that. All right, moving along. Seashells, seashells, seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore. How many times can you say that fast? But isn't that so pretty? Look at this. Oh, that's where the designer series paper is from. Nope, from the seashell. I'm going to back up one and see. I bet it is. Yes, it is. That blue that we saw earlier is from the Sand and Sea designer series paper. But this is, <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's something. There's a, lot going on. there's a lot going on there. It's pretty though. I mean, it fits. It works. Sometimes when Dave and I say there's a lot going on there, it means we don't like it. But <laughs> this one we do like. It's by Betty Weisprich. I really like the, there's a lot in this card. A lot that she did to design it. Oof, really pretty. Yeah, that's a perfect take it up a notch card. Hmm, we will do that next month. We will make that. I'll set that over here. So remember to do that. Um, here is the embossing, uh, the dies rather, the seashell dies is really highlighted on this card. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. My friend Nancy's birthday is tomorrow. And this is by Carmen McNamara. Just a little bit of color on there. Here's one more with a lot of color. And the same, do you see this? The, the dies are the same. I got to push this back. I'm too keep putting my hands up too far. There we go. These dyes are the same, but you can see that just even the way she colored them, they do look quite different. Really pretty. This one is by Carol Norquist. Again, shimmer paint she put on here to make them all shimmery. I Hi, wish... Brenda. Hey, Brenda. I will show you that sometime at a when Wonder Wednesday. Um, so here is... Um, cute little card just for you. Just popping up those little pink flowers. Denise Quayle. And um, In Bloom is what this stamp set is. And then the dies, lots of pieces. My goodness, 25 dies in that. Whew, that's a lot. And then this again uses the um, True Love Designer Series paper right here. Isn't that pretty? And again, the art, um, fine art embossing folder. Dave says, you really like that. You like it more than me. I'm like, yeah, I really do like that because it looks like paint. Uh, it looks like paint on the wall. Um, here's one more. Oops, I don't know if that's leaving somewhere. This is by Terry Gaines. Is this, I think this is quite the stunning card. I'm telling you, so pretty. So this again is using the dies here in In Bloom. I love that little shape. Isn't that fun? That comes in it as, to, as well with all the little stitching so fun, so fun. 
And then I'm going to backtrack just one. Here is um, using the sweet strawberry and it's the ornate flower 3D embossing folder. And this one is by Julie Frakey. Um, and then remember that there is in the um, in, in the celebration, you can get a free, the strawberry is free with a hundred dollars order. Strawberry, okay, maybe I should wait till I get there. There it is, the berry blessing. So you can get the stamp set and the paper, which coordinates perfectly with the strawberries, sweet strawberry and the punch. So I think that's a really pretty card. I like it. All right, moving along here. We've got our ice cream corner. This is such a fun stamp set. I can't wait. Um, we are featuring it, I think, in March. And here's a card with this one. This is using the free Ombre Designer Series paper from the Celebration Catalog. And a little confetti. This is by Kelly, Kelly Schuette. All monochromatic. A lot of layers there. Here's one I think is so cute. Look at it. Treat yourself. Okay, if I must, I will. <laughs> it doesn't take much to tell me to treat myself by Stacy Kratz, but what a fun fold that is. I like that one. That's going to be a quick stamp one for next month. I like that fold. Yeah, that's really cute. Yep. Put that over in our other pile. All right. Snail mail is the cutest little thing. <laughs> the cutest little thing here. Hey, Tracy. I don't know if I had said hi to you either. Um, snailed it. Happy mail enclosed. I mean, I love happy mail, right? I don't want any other kind of mail, but the little mushroom is so cute and the snail, all of it. And then the designer series paper, it's just so fun. And this is not stamped. This is from the designer series paper. See, this is how I tell it. Look back, see it's blue. So it's the back side of the designer series paper right here, which of course, um, one thing Stampin' Up! has started to do a lot more lately is to coordinate the dies with the designer series paper. So that's pretty neat. I like that. A lot of red gems there. Very fun. Oh, that's cool. A little fun surprise inside. That's by Tammy Nelson. I like it. And there's that happy birthday by Dina Rikau, the happy font that I like so much. There's our resin hearts. So when you sign up for Sweet Little Valentine, you get one sheet of the resin hearts. So you'll get 75 of two different colors. All right. Here's the butterfly I was talking about earlier. It's called Floating and Fluttering. Um, and then this one is using the subtle 3D embossing folder on the back. Isn't that fun? By BJ Peters, another cruise friend. So that's all one piece. And it looks like it's two-step stamping. So that's a definite Wonder Wednesday that I want to show you is two-step stamping um, that you can, you just stamp right on top of it. And that's how that she got all the different colors on one, one stamp with the black that makes sense. So this is one stamp and then each of these you fill them in with color. And again, the Ombre Designer Series paper. Be good to do with the Stamparatus. Yes, it would be very good to do with the Stamparatus, Dave. Very good. Um, I told you last month or last Monday I was going to show you a card using the cows for Ride the Range. So first I'm going to show you one with just the cowboy. So here it is. It says happy birthday there. Really light. And this, what's up? This card is dark. <laughs> uh, Dave said it looks really dark. It is dark. So um, this, look at that fun little stitching around the um, cowboy. I like that and the way they colored it in there. And then this is that, what's our paper here, honey? You always remember the, um, the wood, timeless, no? no? Um, in good taste. In good taste. Thank you. I tell you, it always takes two brains. But isn't that fun? I really like that. And here is the one with the cows that I think is so cute. Look at that. Moo cow. Hey, did you know our classroom actually adopted a cow? <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> to order everything? I'm, I don't know, but I'm getting close. So I could let you know there, Barb. Um, yeah, this kind of, I would not have thought to use this this way. That's so fun. It kind of looks like clouds behind there. And I love this little, what is that called? I don't know what that's called. Is it a windmill? Yes. I like it. But the cows are my favorite thing on this, plus just the, everything. Love it. Love it. And this is by Joanne Beckerman. I don't think I said who this was by. By Helen Osterkamp made that one. 
So yeah, I really like that. Very fun. Okay. Um, another card I want to show you. This is a very sweet set. Another, this is another um, million dollar person, achiever, creator made this called Treasures of Life. Um, but isn't that sweet? Look at that. It's with Rococo Rose, which is a color that's going out this year. Look at that. I love you. Oh, the joy of grandchildren is measured by the heart. Very sweet. And this one does not have dyes with it. So this heart came from somewhere else. Uh, this is by Shelly Gruber. Really very um, classy look here. I like it with this, the Rococo Rose ribbon. I like that quite a bit. That looks nice. So um, grandchildren are the treasures of a long life. And the love only grows. All right, I want to show you a couple things in the celebration catalog, some that I made today. So, of course, I have to show you a donkey, right? Um, so this donkey, I think, is super funny. <laughs> and um, so this is using the bumblebee and basic gray. And then that's using, actually, the Dragonfly Garden Designer Series paper by Beth Tetzolf. That's pretty. It's fun. And then she cut out the head. Sorry, I have to bring it back. She cut out the head to make it pop up a little bit more. And then here's the one I made on Saturday, which I, I think is really cute. So I want to show you again in case you didn't see it. Happy birthday. Love that. This is a free stamp set, a different free stamp set, which we'll get to. It's your birthday. And then there was the one with it tied to the tail. Just in case you missed it, you might want to go back and look at Saturday and how to make that. All right, um, this one is using our Approaching Perfection. I've shown you this card before, but I just wanted to show you again because I think it's cute. And there's that bold happy birthday and the candles, got a balloon. So here's the great one. It says, um, the bad news is I forgot your birthday. Good news is I forgot your age. So, and then this one, if things really do get better with age, then you're approaching perfection. I like that. <laughs> there's the ombre paper I was commenting on. Um, so this one, I love this font. Heal Your Heart is such a pretty, such a pretty font. So here's um, one card with it, with the thank you, using the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper and that 3D embossing folder. Love that ribbon too, with a little bit of gold on the edge. Um, and then this is one I made today. Just need a little stamping time today. And I love that thank you using Just Jade because this paper, of course, is right here so you can get that paper for free both sides um, this is the back of this this black and yellow and red piece so i think that's kind of fun um, here's another one i made today hope you feel re hope you feel better really soon and that little phrase is from the punch party punch party stamp set in the back. So I'll get to that in a moment, but just to point out, that's where that is from. These flowers are in the regular catalog. So it's just a little punch. I just punched them out to coordinate with that and then use the red gems. But I love this paper. It's so, so pretty. Um, here's another one I made today. I'm very excited about this one. Dave, you gotta look at this one. This one I think you'd be like, oh, that's very pretty. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I really like this one. Um, so this is the, oops, I must've stuck it in the wrong place. This is the touch of ink. Um, and you can get this free when you order a hundred dollars. Can you grab the touch of ink over there for me? And I, I want to show you why it's, um, cause at first I was like, okay, you, it's a stamp set. You don't get the paper. You don't, it might be laying horizontal straight in front of you up, up, up on the shelf. There we go. Okay, <laughs> um, so this stamp set actually has quite a few stamps, which is why I realize it's probably the in the $100 free range, because you actually have two full sets of stamps. So we have the two-step stamping, the inside, the color, and then we have all the outlines. So and there's butterflies and there's the um, hummingbird. But isn't that pretty? I think that's really pretty. A heartfelt thanks for everything. I recently just got a grant, so I'm going to send this to one of the people I got a grant from. But touch of ink. And then um, I think that is, yep, that was my grand finale right here. 
I thought it was really fun. I did cut out the um, hummingbird, but, and I added a little bit of green with the brush, the new brushes, and I did the yellow on that with the brushes. And this is our double um, oval punch. So the, uh, um, the, I was gonna show you one more thing here. The words, these words also come from that punch party right here. Um, so this punch party, this little edging is that one. And then I did just the smaller oval for there. And then the there's that feel better soon. And then the heartfelt thanks for everything is right there in the middle. So yeah, this punch party you get free um, with a $300 party or order. And um, if you guys want to gather orders, let me know. And I'll be happy to help you do that so you can get that stamp set for free. And all the ones that are highlighted, those all have punches that coordinate with them. So that's what I have for you tonight. I have our um, celebration. So celebration is only January and February. So you want to make sure January and February, you want to make sure to um, stay down here because I have one more thing. You want to make sure to order in January and February if there's anything in the celebration that you want, like everything, right? <laughs> Um, so here's the other class that's coming up is our Take It Up a Notch. It's on January 28th. I'm going to save that one for last to show you if you haven't seen them. So here's the cards we're going to make. This one is kind of like a, a gate fold, but it overlaps a little bit. So that's a fun fold. And I'll put the measurements in there as well, Barb. So are the brushes better than the daubers? They're different. Um, can you grab a Say brush Barb. and a dauber? The daubers are better if you're trying to be a little more precise, but the nice thing about the brushes, you can wash them. So you, once you use a dauber in a dark color, you're going to have trouble going to a light, but the brushes are going to do great. So the dauber can make a polka dot. I'm certain that was made with a dauber. You cannot do that with the brush. The brush, you're more coloring a bigger area. So I find when I use a dauber, let's say I was trying to color something, it looks like little circles whereas the brush does not show up as little circles. It just, it just covers the, um, it just covers it. So good question. So this is one of our take it up a notch ones with our dandy dragonfly garden. Here is another one using our, isn't that so fun? I love that. I have to tell you, I probably spent an hour trying to make this a moving card. I wanted to open it and have him pop out, but you know what? I just couldn't make it work. So. It's still cute though. And then here's the last one. This is called a shutter card. So are you ready? Here we go. Wow. Isn't that cool? So that's our, our third take it up a notch. And remember, take it up a notch, you get $10 in product. And that's what I have to tell you tonight. So um, yeah, feel free to keep asking questions like that, Barb. That's awesome. I know um, just, Anything you want to know about, um, feel free to put it in the chat or text me or email me because Wonder Wednesday is coming up. And so I was thinking about doing um, two-step stamping or I was thinking about doing coloring, like how all the different ways we have to color. So those are the kind of the two things I'm thinking about. If you have a preference of one over the other, just let me know. And did I miss anything? So. Happy Monday. <laughs> oh, wait. One thing, if you wanted to order everything in the mini catalog, oh. <laughs> you would get 10% off. In addition, you would also get huge celebration free merchandise and probably the most Stamper Studio reward points any one person has ever earned. Uh, <laughs> I hope you could hear him. Um, yeah. If you order everything in the catalog, I will make a deal with you. <laughs> um, okay. So I see some bar asked for coloring and... All right. Sounds good. Um, I am looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday. You know, I could sit here and chat with you all night, even though it's just me talking. I could, totally could do that because um, it's fun. I will see you Wednesday. Have a great uh, midweek day tomorrow, Tuesday, and I'll see you the next day. So happy stamping, friends.